If you're looking for a lovely background mapping in QGIS, then take a look at Map Tiler. It's a really great source of base maps in QGIS. And there's a plugin for QGIS that makes it really easy. So if I go to my plugins menu and then manage and install plugins, I've already installed this, so I will just turn it on and I'll click close. What you will see is added to the browser in QGIS, you'll see Map Tiler. And then there's a number of different layers. Now, let's go back one step and go to the XYZ Tiles section. By default in QGIS, you'll see the Open Street Map option there. Now, if I zoom in to Florida, South Florida, we'll see the open street map there. Now this is a set of raster tiles. So what does that mean? It, it, it means basically this is just images tiled together. And sometimes with these base maps, you can get problems with resolution, fuzziness and so on. That's not the case with vector base maps. So if I double click to add open street map here, what we get is a vector version of open street map that's been put together by Map Tiler. Now let me zoom into the Miami metro area. So here's an example of one of the things you can do. So if I rotate the map, for example, by 90 degrees, all the labels are still oriented as we'd wish them to be. If I change it back to the other one, you can see because it's just an image and everything's just embedded in that image, you don't have the same flexibility. Also with a vector base map, you can click on the open map tiles layer there. And we can turn things on and off if we want to. So here's the symbology. And if I wanted to turn off, let's say woods or wetlands or any of the categories to modify the map and the layers, we can easily do that. So that's kind of the difference functionality wise between the raster and the vector. Also, when you export it, you will find you'll be able to get much more detailed, higher resolution images out of the vector base map. Let's turn back to uh, no rotation. And as well as the open street map, you'll see loads of other options. The map tiler basic tiles are very nice, as are the bright ones. And once you've got it installed and you have a MapTiler account, it's really simple and free to use.